Hey everyone, in this video we'll talk about uh, a problem a lot of people have with Shopify and it is Shopify canonical problems when it comes to or basically, you know, just duplicate URLs for a specific product. Not specific, but like one product would have uh, multiple or two at least uh, different URLs when it only should have one. And uh, this problem uh, to my knowledge is only because of uh, collections. The problem is because of the collections that you have. And it end, uh, ends up having a collection um, kind of thing extension to the website or the URL of the product instead of just having products and then the name of the product. So uh, the, the entire the problem is going to be from within the collections tab over here. And if I just show you this, this example that I have and go to the SEO, uh, it is going to be something along the lines like this. But instead of the collection itself, it's going to be for the product as well. So you open up a page for the product and it should say collections, product, and then slash product, and then uh, the name of the product. So this issue does affect your SEO rankings and it should not exist. It, it shouldn't be a... Uh, something that you have on your Shopify store, basically. So let me just show you one more, like exactly what I'm talking about. So if you go to my online store here, I just set up a few examples. Uh, I personally do not have the problem, but I will show you how to fix it uh, in a sec. So if we go to any Shopify store and we go to um, a product list that is not a collection. I, sh I, I have this example and I have two uh, pages here, one for normal products and one for collection uh, pages and products within them, obviously. So if we go to uh, a product page and we uh, hover over a product uh, within this page, you can see on the bottom left, it says, uh, you know, myshopify.com and then slash products and then slash the product name. I obviously named them product one and product two for the sake of the example. But this should be the case for the entire Shopify store. It should not be um, different in any way, even if it's a collection. But what people have, like if I click on this, it should just say the normal my Shopify slash products and product name. What some people have is if we go to a collection page, that's when things are going to be a little bit different. If we go to a collection page and they click on uh, one of the products that are in the collection, they instead of having uh, the normal URL to the product, like the one I showed you previously, and the one that you are seeing in front of you right now, they would have something like this. So instead of having it like this, they would do slash collection and then slash product and then slash product two, which is the name of the product. So how to actually go ahead and fix this problem is going to be different from one person to another. And it's not because of you personally, it's because of the theme. So every theme does have a specific fix to it. It's all the same fix, but it's going to be a different folder and a different place for it. And it requires uh, to use the coding tab. So to actually go ahead and start the fixing problem, uh, the first thing that I will need you to do is to obviously back up your uh, coding. You don't want to lose anything if you did a mistake or something. You don't want to lose the entire store for a uh, fix like this. So again, every theme, so Dawn has a specific fix, Spotlight has a specific fix, and Studio has a specific fix, and so on for the rest of the themes uh like i said previously all of them are the same fix it's just different folders and i will show you exactly what i mean so to fix the problem you go ahead to your uh, online store themes and you click on the three dots and then you go ahead and click edit code and this is where you will need to uh, back up a specific folders that are we are going to be basically tampering with we don't want, want to lose any uh, valuable data here or, you know, mix the codes and stuff. So on the left side here, we've got layout, templates, uh, config, snippets, that kind of stuff. We don't want any of them. 
uh, this case is it's basically it's going to be for the all uh, themes. This works on all themes. You go ahead and click on snippets. So for all themes, it's going to be within snippets. But here the problem actually begins. Where in snippets, we don't exactly know because each theme is different. And I personally don't even know in this theme uh, where it is because like I said, I don't have the problem. Uh, but uh, I will show you, like, I will tell you where to look basically. So if you just uh, minimize the snippets, if we go to anything that says uh, product, so let's just keep going down to the letter P here. Everything that starts with product, we will need to actually click on it and then uh, click on the code without deleting anything. Be careful you don't mess with the code or anything. And then just control F. And we will want to find product dot URL. Copy that because we will be using that a lot. So once you type this uh, in the search, you click next. And if it's not here, good job. <laughs> next one, we go to product media and here. We click all over here, control F and then control V. We want to search for this. It's not in here. We go to the next one and we keep this process basically until we find the one that we are looking for. And I will show you exactly how it looks like. Uh, so a lot of people find it in the product thumbnail, even though it doesn't have any connection to it, to the thumbnail, but some people, oh, there you go. I messed up the code. So make sure you don't save anything here. Um, so control F and then control V. And then we just click on next and it's not in here. Uh, so we go to the next one. So it's, it doesn't have to be related. The title of the folder does not have to be to be related. So for, the, for example, like I said, some people actually find it within the thumbnail folder. And uh, yeah, I don't know how it works. I don't know how you can find it. So for example, here, I actually found one. But it doesn't have the problem because like I said, I already don't have the issue or the problem. I'm just showing you because I know a lot of people that do. And in case you don't actually find it within the products, you can also end up finding it within uh, still underneath snippets. So let's make sure we are under snippets. We go to collections if there's any. If there's anything that starts with collection, you also hit for it and do the same thing. You just search for product.url um, and search for the problem. And I will show you exactly what the problem looks like and how to actually fix it. So I've got a notepad here. And this is basically what you will be looking for. So again, control F and then you just enter this. And once you find it, you sh it should show you like this. So basically you've found it. If you find this next to it, so within collection, you will need to go here. So in the beginning of the space here and just delete until you hit URL. So basically just touch the L. You, do, you, you don't want to leave any space between product.url and these things. Okay. And then uh, save the code from here and then it should be fixed. This should be the proper fix for it. And again, the only hard part or the complicated part about it is actually finding it because uh, it's, it's, it's guaranteed within snippets, but the problem is actually finding it within here. So for example, maybe it's under card collection or anything that says collection or product, it may be in here and you will need to actually, you know, delete it. So uh, I hope this video helped you and make sure that before you do anything, like I said, back up your codes so you don't l mess up anything within your store, basically. So back up your codes and then do the fix. And if it worked, good job. If not, then restore uh, the one that we already backed up. So I hope this video helped you on fixing this canonical issue and it should help you a lot with your SEO. And yeah, thanks for watching.